I can't believe we're already talking about approaching back to school, let alone back to August, but also we're approaching the peak of hurricane season, which will actually be in September. So I'll show you what the models will look like in just a few minutes. First things first, we're starting to get a little activity going in the sun, the central tropical Atlantic. Right now we're just tracking some very disorganized thunderstorm activity hundreds of miles east of the Lesser Antilles of the Leeward Islands. But as that energy approaches the Greater Antilles, approaches northern Puerto Rico, northern Dominican Republic, and just before the Bahamas, there is a lot of energy here that would be conducive of further development. So that is why the National Hurricane Center is going to be watching this disturbance over the next couple of days. It has right now a 40% chance that we could be talking about our next tropical depression by the middle to the end of next week. And that's again because conditions could be a little more conducive for further development. Let me show you one model, one model, one run, and it's our European model, which continues to drive this just north of the northern Leeward Islands into the Greater Antilles. At least north of there. And then this is kind of the hot zone where we could see that potential tropical development by again the end of later this week, even going into next weekend. The European starting to get a little more consistency with wanting to turn this thing east of Florida, which would actually be our best case scenario. The GFS, another typical global model that we keep a track of in the tropics, continues to want to drive this more so towards the west into the Gulf of Mexico. So when we're this far out, the main thing we're really looking for is some model agreement, and that just hasn't quite been happening. That's why there's still a great amount of uncertainty. Also, there still hasn't been anything that's officially formed out there. So it's going to be something we're talking about all week. We'll be watching it for you. But as mentioned, you're like a map. This is like a map. You are right here, right? We're approaching August 1st. Things are really going to rev up as we approach September. September 10th is officially the statistical peak of hurricane season, and that's where we could be dealing with the most named storms or at least activity that's happening in the tropics. That's not necessarily land interaction, just actual activity officially being tracked.